Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is Kalai Pokemon, and in this very, very interesting video, upcoming series, I am going to show you guys Pokemon cards. I am going to show you a detailed version of the SM1 Plus set because I've seen a lot of pictures floating around, there's a lot of videos, but you know, there hasn't been like a, a very nice looking cup, cup uh, like a video showing all the cards. So in this series, I am gonna make six different video, each one of them containing like 10 cards, around 10 cards of each set. And the sixth video will be a progress of, you know, the amount of secret rare, hyper rare, ultra rare cards I've collected. So do stay tuned, do watch my videos because you know, the hyper rare video is gonna be interesting. So the first card, what we got is this one. The first card in this set, in this um, uh, SM1 Plus set, is Rollet. So let my camera focus. So what Rollet does is simply does a Tech Tackle 10 damage and a Leaf Age 20 damage. And you guys can take a look at this set, the holographic patterns. Um, they're all reverse hollow, and it's not just a plane, there's some shadow onto the green side as well. Um, so it's just trying to make it special. But I have to say, this set of cards are easily bent due to the humidity, because you know, the whole side is foil, and because of that, it makes the car very susceptible to humidity changes of the weather. So do be very careful. But guys, do look at that relic, it's beautiful. So the next card in the set is its evolution, Dark Tricks. So Dark Tricks has two attacks again. One is called Shard Blade Quill, and this attack, this attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So you can, you know, hit any bench Pokemon. And the other one is called Leap Blade, which is 50 plus flip a coin. It does 20 more damage. So let's get a close up of this guy. All right, very cool looking. All right, quite decent. Okay, so after the dart tricks, of course we're gonna have his brick brother, the Sijuai. So this the Sijuai is actually just a reprint from the theme decks in the Japanese version. So again, so basically the ability is quite useful. You can use this power during your turn where you put two damage character on your opponent's Pokemon. You can have uh, a grass and the double colorless for 90 damage, Leaf Age. And the GX ability is put three cards from your discard pile into your hand. So quite a useful card in terms of ability, but the GX skills, not so much. So you guys can see that the holographic pattern is actually behind the Decidueye, making it, you know, look more three-dimensional. But, you know, in my opinion, I really do not like this version of the Decidueye as if it's holding an arrow. So it's not my not my favorite type of artwork. Um, I think the Hyper Rare looks really good. So I'll show you guys that in a later video. So, Number four out of the uh, R51 is the uh, Gerben, Grubin. So Grubin has a attack, only one attack double colorless energy called Fine Grip, and it does 20 damage. So this card again, ah, uh, you guys can see, this. these cards are also a fingerprint magnet. You guys can see that, you know, this set of cards just clings onto fingerprint so easily. But here we go. Very nice card. So that was the fourth card. Ah. Here comes the fifth card. I'm just gonna put it there. So if you guys wanna, you know, crop a picture, a full HD picture of it, go for it. So this is a Fermentist. It has the attack synthesis, search a deck for one grass energy, and attach it to one of your Pokemon, any of your Pokemon, and then shuffle your deck afterward. Being a single colorless energy, and you can do that, that's pretty cool. You're, you're essentially just adding energy. That's a very good attack. And the other one is Leaf Age, which does 20 damage. So, very nice. So, I'm just gonna zoom in for you guys. A lot of people are using this deck with the Decidueye. 
um, because of the Laurentis jigs, um, which is quite decent. So next we have the normal version of the Laurentis. This is not the GX. However, as long as this Pokemon is in play, each of your grass and R energy, I think R means fire. Yeah. Do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So grass and fire does 20 more damage. So mm, quite a scary ability. So that grass grass colorless 80 damage actually means a hundred damage. Hmm, very, very scary. And if you use this, I mean I think this is quite a decent card that you can plug in or put into your deck. You guys can see that it's actually quite a nice kind of artwork with a pinkish reddish tint to it. Um, the card itself, it's okay, it's not nothing too interesting. So moving on, we're gonna go to something hot. The next card in this set is Litten. So Litten, it has two attack, one is Bite, which is 10 damage, and the other one is Flare, which does 20 damage. And basically, this is, this is a very simple version. Again, like the um, Rollet, or like the other holographic pattern, you guys can see it's red with some tint to it. So there's some shadow to it, so it's not like just plain red boring. So if I can zoom in, let you guys take a look. Yep, and again, like I said, these cards are fingerprint magnet. Um, yeah, as long as it's not staining, I think it's fine. Um, you guys can wipe it out with a um, uh, glass, uh, those glasses cloth. Next, we have a Toro Cat. So it has Fairy Swipe, 20 times damage. Flip 3 coins, 20 damage times number of head. And Frame Thrower, discard 1 energy attached to this Pokemon. So you can discard your colorless or fire energy, it does 90 damage. I think that's a quite a decent attack for um, for a stage one Pokemon. All right. So the next one, obviously, you guys would have guessed it. Yes, is the Incineroar GX. Again, the Incineroar GX is just a reprint from the base set uh, from the theme deck in the Japanese set. So what it does, it's this. It has something called Hustle Blow, which does 10 damage, just attacks us 20 damage for each fire Pokemon on your bench. Ooh, Skyfield. Next, it's Tiger Swing, 80 plus damage. Flip two coins. This attack does 50 more for each head. Okay, not bad. So potentially, you're gonna get an 80 base damage plus 100. So it can have a huge output. The last attack, the GX skill, is called the Burn Slam GX. It does 200 damage and your opponent is burned. So, okay, that's a very, very harsh card. Basically, it's a lot of raw, that raw, raw, raw damage. So, let's take a closer look at this card. Again, like the Decidueye, it's only the background that is holographic with the eyes. Um, yeah, so overall, not a bad card. Quite nice looking. So, this is the last card. This is the last card of our first 10 cards in the SM1+. Plus. This last card is called the Oricario. Oricario. So Oricario, there's like, what, six of them in the set. Uh, I think there's even two psychic ones. So apparently Oricario is a bird that changes form depending on the berries you give them or something like that. So this is the fire version. So basically the first attack with one fire energy is called Hot Blood Dance. Search your deck for up to three basic fire Pokemon and put them in to, onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So this card actually works really well with your Incineroar because you know the Incineroar does 20 more damage for each of your fire Pokemon in each bench. And you know, the, these guys search up the fire Pokemon. So you know, 
quite a nasty if you have Skyfeel. I think Skyfeel allows you to put like seven or eight, eight Pokemon on the bench. And you know, 20 times eight, that's a lot. 20 times eight, that's a, uh, yeah, 160 damage plus 10, 170 damage. Then you can achieve this using this. So, let me just zoom in so you guys can take a look. Very cute bird. Oh, and the other attack, almost forgot. It does 30 damage. It's called, uh, it's, it's just called Kindle. Discard an energy attached to this Pokemon and then discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, hmm, nasty guy. So it has a retreat cost of one. So technically you can just, you know, retreat this afterwards. I think it's quite a decent Pokemon. 90 HP for a basic Pokemon, not bad at all. So that wraps up our first first half of the first of six part video. I can tell you that I have not completed the set. I've completed the, um, you know, the enlist one. So all 51, over the 51 of it. I'm still hunting down some of the outlist card. Um, it's just way too many. There's like 14 or 15 of them. Was it or seven? I think there's quite a lot. I can't remember, I think 17 of them. So anyhow, Stay tuned for my later video and remember to click that subscribe button, check out my other videos, support my channel and you know, hope to see you guys soon. Remember this is Collect Pokemon. Peace.